telling you, man, he's one of the people out here that have the strongest business sense. Believe that on a real grimy tip, I stamped that, man. Real West Coast, you know what I'm talking about? Boom, you know the business. Anyways, man, so so what's up, man? Now, we all know about you about being DJ Fingers, man. What's going on with that? How did you get that name, man? Man, well, shoot, about uh, 12, 13 years ago, um, you know, I used to cut it up in the studio, and, and my, one of my homeboys would come over and be like, go fingers, go fingers, you see me using my fingers, you know, doing the wiggy wiggies and stuff, yeah. and it just really stuck with me, man, so I said, you know what, that's catchy, let me let me keep him, you know what I mean? Now, when did you start to, to, to DJ, man? What year was that starting? It was about in 93 when I really uh, got a little bit, you know, equipment together and got to... Uh, got some records and, and said, you know what, I really want to try to do this. Let me go pay some dues, hit the clubs, you know, whatever I had to do, network, promote, market, let my name out there, try to get opportunities to get in clubs, you know what I mean? And that's how it all started. Who are some of the people that you've produced throughout your career? Because I know you got some pretty big names. I mean, as far as, you know, I've worked with a lot of cats in San Diego, you know what I mean? I've worked with uh, Cricket, Sugar Shaft, I've worked with Mitchie Slick, I, you know. And then as far as me branching off into the bigger names, I think I think one of the first bigger people I worked with was Be Legit. Um, then it went to um, this group A1, which was signed to E40's uh, Sick With It. And um, then I worked with Selly Cell. And then um, my dude from A1 put 40 up onto me. So one time I got a phone call like with E40 on the other line. I was like, what? You know what I mean? He's like, I heard you got some, you know, some slaps. Send me a CD. Like, okay, you know? so I sent him out a CD, and a couple days later he calls me like, "Man, I want this one, this one, this." One. I'm like, "Huh? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like E40? You know?" So um, the first one I ever recorded for him, which is now like a classic, is called Mouthpiece, mm -hmm. and it was on the Charlie Hustle soundtrack he did. And um, uh -huh. man, that was it was a blessing to be able to do that. And and I've noticed on a business side, man, you've really started to expand into other ventures. Right. And you know, one that I see and that I'm wearing now is. Is the West Coast shirt, right? Man. Right by by Fabricali. That's my line, Fabricali. You know the mm. fabric of California, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, now, how did that come to light? This cat a couple years ago came to me with the shirt, with this same shirt and the, and the name Fabricali. James Young, he's my partner now, and said, look, I, you know, he wanted to give me one. He just knew I was, you know, on the streets, DJ and all this stuff. And I saw it and I thought to myself, this is catchy. I really like this. I like the name. I like how he had it packaged. You know, he's real creative with the the. the art thing and I said to myself well I was looking into doing merchandise for DJ Fingers anyway when I'm on tour so I called him up and I said well what you got going on with this clothing thing he's like nothing we got an idea but he didn't have the business end that I had the marketing and you know business mind and we got together restructure the company and here we are three years later you know doing doing six figures you know what I mean Yes. Yeah. So now, is there any other type of businesses that you've been stepping into that you'd like to let them know? I know did, about? yeah. Last year, you know, I, I had to break away from Dago. I moved to LA and um, with my girl Julia, Julia Bond, and uh, you know, in the adult film business, man. You know what I mean? I got, I got heavy into that. Helped her, you know, with marketing and stuff. She's, she's a, a star. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you know, on the Grimy Rex show, we really believe in the adult film business. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grimy, you know, the best. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty game breaker stock. Go pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You got any last words for the upcoming producers out there, man? Man, um, definitely, you know, keep your mind focused on what you're trying to do. If you have the passion for it and the drive, then you're gonna go somewhere with it. You know what I mean? Like that, and that's real. Like I, I had a passion for music. If I wasn't getting paid and making the money I am doing music, I'd still be doing it today because. That's what I love. I love music and DJing, and, and that's my passion. So it's it's beautiful to be able to take that into something that, to make a living out of and travel the world. And you know, it's it's a blessing to this day, man. So that's that's my advice: is just stay focused, stay humble, do your thing. Don't worry about what other people got going on, and, and just do you and get to where you think you need to be. Yeah.